What do you think when you hear the names Walt Disney, J.K. Rowling, and Oprah Winfrey? You probably think of how successful they were, but do you ever think of how they got there? They got there struggle after struggle. Bad things kept happening, but in the end, the bad things led to success. In fact, most of the times, good things come from bad things. But today, I'm going to try to prove to you why bad things aren't so bad. The first reason why bad things aren't so bad is they can lead to better things. For example, Walt Disney was fired from the Kansas City Star in 1919 for a lack of imagination and his ideas weren't good enough. Mostly, most people would give up after that. But Walt Disney used all the negative things that happened to him to make his ideas better. Walt Disney says, all the adversity I've ever had in my life, all the obstacles and troubles have strengthened me. The second reason why bad things aren't so bad is they can become good things. For example, J.K. Rowling is most famous for her book series, Harry Potter. You might think, okay, she invented Harry Potter and became famous. None of that is bad. But the idea Harry Potter didn't just pop into her head. She based Harry Potter off of her mother's death. So J.K. Rowling even says, if she hadn't died, I don't think it's too, too strong to say that there wouldn't be a Harry Potter. The books are what they are because she died. So this just proves that even the death of a loved one can become something good if you let it. The third reason why bad things aren't so bad is you can learn from them. For example, Oprah Winfrey made many mistakes, and she was punished for every single mistake she made. But she learned from all those mistakes and punishments and ended up making one of the most famous talk shows, The Oprah Winfrey Show. So in the end, all their troubles that happened to them help them become better and more successful. I hope you use this advice to become more successful too.